Greetings, welcome back. Unfortunately, it's a little too cold to ride outside today. And you know, the high is like low 40s. That's also pretty windy out, so we're just not interested going out. So today we're gonna do a little bike maintenance. This is my 05 YZ450 that I've had since new in September of 04. As you can see, slightly modified with the oversized tank. It also has a kickstand over here and can be street legal. Uh, it's in the off-road air condition right now, the tail section with the lights taken off. What we're gonna do today is grease the swing arm. A sadly, way overlooked part of bike maintenance. Uh, grease gets hot with all that suspension movement so it burns up, goes bad, gets fried, or just gets blown out with water through pressure washing or just right in the mud. So taking care of your suspension linkage is very important as far as the maintenance of the bike and keeping the suspension working smooth. So hope you enjoy the video and I hope I can just do it. Okay, we've got everything disassembled. Uh, surprisingly, I was strong enough to break all uh, the nuts loose and all the bolts. Uh, longer extensions make that a lot easier. We've got everything cleaned up or clean enough. And now we're gonna slide uh, the, the bearings apart and crease them all up. One thing I've learned, it's nice to have a big pile of clean rags on it and and just go through them and throw them away when you're done so uh, i think we're probably gonna do another time lapse with this so it doesn't get too boring but i will show you here's what's referred to as the knuckle and the swing arm yamaha this is just a u and the bearings on the bottom of the shock 
of the manufacturers have to bear in one ear. So when you're doing this, make sure you remember to grease the bearing on the shock. That bottom bearing sits down the lowest, gets the most spun and dirt. So it's the one that needs lubed the most. So let's go ahead and you know, do one of these for you, then time lapse the rest. See how black the grease has got from all that heat and friction there. Yeah. Swipe off your pen. Uh, the needles will fall out, especially if the bearing is dry. You gotta be very careful not to lose any of them. Or if you do, clean them off, put them back in. That's the benefit of doing this fairly often. Keeps grease in there, the needles stay in place. So I put and up against one end, so if they do fall out, I catch them all. Use the other end to pull out all the nasty old grease. Now you can put a clean rag down in there to clean out the grease, but no, this will really dry out the needles and cause them to fall out easier. So you have to be very careful when doing that. Once you got most of the crud out, get some fresh grease on your finger. Uh, we're using Beltway waterproof grease, just cause that's what I've used since I worked in the bike shop. Just make sure it's a high quality grease they can hold up to the heat. You know, shove it in, fill it in there. Uh, don't worry about using too much. The extra will come out later on the other side. Make sure you're twisting the needles to turn them. So that way they get grease on all the sides. And they're kind of falling out as I turn them. But that's okay, everything's greasy. And I can put them right back in. See, yeah, you know, there's one of the needles. Just plop it right back in, all nice and greasy. Okay. Now with all that grease, we don't have to worry about the needle falling out. So then what I like to do is also grease my pin. So that just assures we get grease in all the places that needs to be. You know, slide it in, watch the glob of grease come out the back side. Again, this is partly dirty, so I won't use this on any of the new ones, but I'm kind of cheap, so I do save this and use it on other applications in the garage just working. So that way it's to not waste it, but not get it in any important parts. Now, as you watch this video, looks kind of gross, looks kind of nasty, so I just want a warning, as we do have comments on, please don't make any inappropriate comments. This especially means a certain gentleman named Nick who lives in the greater Denver area. Yep, I see all the memes you share on Facebook, wildly inappropriate. So yeah, keep those kind of comments to yourself. And you, know, you can complain about the way I do this critique me and judge me, that's fine, I don't care about that. That's just the way I do it. So we're gonna call that time elapse, the greasing of the resting of them, then the assembly. When we get to the assembly, it's extremely important to use a torque wrench. These are suspension parts, they're moving parts. Too much torque, you're binding your suspension, the bike won't work properly. Not enough, it may fall apart. Uh, it's especially important for me to use a torque wrench since my arms are weak. I'm not sure as to if it's a tight enough or not. So the torque wrench will let me know, hey, I'm actually good.
All right, we got it all put back together, all torqued down, everything's set. Uh, the reason why there's no uh, video to go with that is because the GoPro battery was gonna die. I'm being serious, it had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I didn't want you to watch me struggle as I put back together. It was clearly the battery's fault. No, seriously, got everything torqued back together with the torque wrench. You notice I didn't use the torque wrench uh, for the rear axle nut, just used an end wrench. But for you off-road guys, don't use a wrench this long, don't use a long extension. Because what do you carry in your backpack? A very short wrench. If you over torque it, get way too much, you'll get out on the trail and realize, hey, you can't get your real wheel off to fix the tube. So set it with the wrench out of your backpack. Use those tools so that way you can actually get the bike apart when you break down on the trail. In addition, um, as I got a fight with the organ issue and struggled to use my wrist to get everything in, this has been very therapeutic for me. Uh, it was actually a little bit of struggle even though everything went pretty well. Only a few dropped parts. But uh, to drop some other bad news, another misfortune has hit my family. My nephew, who lives over a thousand miles away, a senior in high school about to graduate, well, he came up short on a double. Went in nose first. I don't know if the back flip or the bike flipped over on him but he ended up breaking his neck. They did emergency surgery the very next morning. They took out C6 and put in a cage and fused C5 through seven. As of right now, he doesn't have feeling in his extremities. Uh, the other day he was able to move his right arm and scratch his nose, which was a humongous progress. The doctors say he will walk again. That's what we're hoping. But it's going to be a very slow process. Months in the hospital and even more months in a wheelchair. So if you want to show a little love towards our family, we'll put a link to his GoFundMe in the description below. So please check it out and help him if you can and are able. <laughs> oh, you can taste it. What is that? Onions and ketchup? <laughs>